yo what is good youtube Krishan taking back in with another video in this video we will be breaking down an interview by patrick bet david over on value entertainment this was an interview with dorian yates following the 2019 mr olympia where brandon curry will win his first mr olympia title now i thought this would be interesting to break down because i posted a poll of some various ideas i had for videos and you guys want to see 90s bodybuilding versus today so I thought it'd be interesting to, you know, see what do the guys from the 90s think about bodybuilding today. And if you guys enjoy this series, we will touch on a couple more interviews prior to the actual video. Now, huge shout out to the Superset Man. If you guys aren't subbed to his channel, definitely go check him out. He's done a couple of videos recently in this style, which honestly inspired me to make this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Stick around, watch the interview. And after the interview, I will break this down a little bit. I also threw in a couple of pictures and videos just to keep this a little bit interesting. How do you feel about the whole contest? Did you, I mean, obviously Brandon Curry won. What yeah. did you think about Brandon Curry as a physique, as a winner? Well, I mean, I respect to all the guys up there. They're all doing their best. But if I'm to be honest, and that's, <laughs> that's pretty much normally what I am, I feel the standard of the Mr. Olympia uh, is not what it used to be. The whole thing's diversified. You've got all these different categories and classes and everything, but the Mr. Olympia, the pure bodybuilding itself, um, you had three guys there that, were, you know, I guess they were pretty close. Uh, there was two guys in, in what I would say, pretty good shape. You know, they were in, they were in good shape, who, but they're who, quite who small. Were two guys. Yeah, um, William Bonac. Okay, second. Place. And um, a guy from Iran. Hadi Chopin. Yeah, I don't couldn't pronounce his name. Uh, very good and in good shape, but they're smaller guys. Mm. They're smaller guys, and so Brandon won it, I believe, because he got more stature. He's bigger. It looks more like a Mr. Olympia, but he wasn't in incredible shape. Um, so I think it was probably one of the weaker, so, weaker Mr. Olympias that that we've seen. What do you look at when you look at this? I'm curious, like your eyes. Yeah. Where does it go first, and then where does it go? Because uh, when I look, okay. at, you know, the average person looks at it like, oh my gosh, this yeah. guy's a beast. What do you look at? Well, he's got very um, good fullness, good roundness to the muscles, and no really noticeable weak points in that in that pose. But he's lacking deep separation and conditioning that used to be the norm in the Mr. Olympia. The conditioning part. Yeah, the conditioning is, and that was is a big what's difference lacking between these you days. And, uh, Kevin LeBron as well. Would you agree with that? Where some of the times he would show up pretty full, yeah. but he wasn't yeah, as... Yeah, Kevin had a great physique, but <coughs> he didn't, it wasn't consistent in coming in. You know, sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't, but he wasn't consistent in coming in that kind of shape. So you see the fullness, but you still don't call this to be fully cut up or conditioned? No, you wouldn't put I'd this at that I'd probably be like in that shape around about six weeks before the contest this so i would consider still you. yeah i would still consider this is six weeks work in progress you. work to do so this during your era with the, the guys competing el sombati yeah. you know all the guys that were running at that time ray cormier all those guys how, how would today's body do during that time um brandon Curry, this physique he definitely wouldn't place in the top six he wouldn't place he in wouldn't the top place six in the, in the top 90s six, no why do you say that? Is it purely based on the conditions? You guys were more because disciplined than today. I don't know the reasons, all the, all you know, all the factors yeah. involved. Um, but you look at the top six in the nineties. You had myself, Kevin Lavron, Flex Wheeler, Sean Ray, Nassau Sambate. I believe all those physiques are superior to the winners that we had in the last. All right, so Dorian Yates actually had a lot to say on this topic, but two main things that I want to take away from this interview. He basically said that the conditioning now is just not what it was back in the 90s. And I mean, I can kind of see that in a lot of years, especially when Phil Heath was competing versus now. I feel like even then conditioning was emphasized a little bit more. You know, a lot of people said the version that Rami brought to the 2021 Mr. Olympia, that was the version that Rami would bring to Mr. Olympia's where he was placing fifth and sixth because he was getting out conditioned by Dexter Jackson, you know, William Bonet, you know, guys like that. But honestly, I feel like in the last year, conditioning has stepped up a lot in these bodybuilding competitions. And the second thing, of course, I want to touch on is Dorian Yates said that Brandon Curry went place in the top six in his era. I honestly believe that is a true statement, because if you think about all the names he put up himself, Kevin LeVron, Nasser El somebody. Flex Willer, as well as Sean Ray, and sixth place would probably be Chris Cormier. And guys, Brandon Curry would definitely have his hands full trying to take out Chris Cormier. 
Now that's taking nothing away from Brandon Curry at all, our Mr. Olympia and two-time Arnold Classic champion, but I just thought this was a very interesting take on this. And as always, let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, we do have a couple more interviews from Value Entertainment that are very interesting that I would like to share with you guys. And I will also link this video in the comment section below. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and I'm out.